<laughs> That's going viral. Oh, man. Back it up, baby. It's just tobacco, everybody. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Lakers. <laughs> Brad, show a little emotion. With the stogie. With the stogie, James. Very Big nice. Big game, James. Uh, can we, someone in the newsroom the clip this off for me so I can send it to everyone I know? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, it smells good. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you're going to OKC and take a game, baby. Great job, Lakers. That was nice. That's how you open a That's, show. That was nice, baby. That's how you open a show. Here. Thanks for making me irrelevant. Can I keep this? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, but it was awesome. You know, you've had Good that job, for a James. while. You, you, you did one after the Celtics game on your own because, you know, Red used to do it to Red you. Red back, baby. Uh, you like having those maybe on the golf course. Good win. Yes. On Super Bowl Sunday for the Lakers. Yeah, and welcome. Come get this before FCC calls. Brought to you by... <laughs> Your Southern California Nissan dealers, and, and that is a great way to open the show because, yeah, there's, Vinny, there's Vinny coming in. Thanks, Vinny. Thank Put you, sir. Job, Vinny. Put that in the humidor, would you? Well done. The Hall that of was Famer. a good game, man. Yeah, you're in the Hall of Fame. You can do whatever game. you want. Uh, Laker game. insider Mike Bresnahan. I'm Chris McGee. It was a fun game because the average loss to this OKC team the last two times we played them was 30 points. Uh, no Lonzo Ball. We weren't sure if Ingram was going to go. Ingram ended up going, and uh, the new lineup with Josh Hart um, paying dividends in guys. Both ends of the floor, though, the effort. Remember, OKC, 21 offensive turnovers. They punked them last time out, James. Luke called the guys out. The fellas called themselves out. But they rebounded here, man, and uh, it, it is a great win. It's, it's, it's the gutsiest win of the year, in my opinion. Take it, Brad. Yeah, I'm you, still recovering. James has done yeah, his job. You know, I completely agree. We talked before the game. All right, these guys have to stand strong. Steven Adams threw them around that last game. It wasn't even funny. I yeah. mean, Julius Randle had one rebound two and a half weeks ago when they played OKC. He was scoreless in the second mm -hmm. half. Tonight, he was the one kind of bullying the Thunder. Remember yeah. that one play where he kept pushing Carmelo down, backed him in, easy two, Carmelo got upset. Josh Hart, very strong. I mean, he was everywhere tonight. What do you have, 11 rebounds? I kind of laughed when James said before the game, I'm predicting Josh Hart's going to have 17 points and 11 rebounds. Mm -hmm. He was very close mm -hmm. in both categories. Rookie played very great, very strong today. Big game, James. I remember us cheering when they took Josh Hart at 30th because we all were we were huge fans of his uh, in college when he won a national championship at Villanova. No, I wasn't a fan. Not then. a fan of that game, <laughs> yeah, but, but a fan heels. of his for sure. <laughs> a fan of his for sure. Um, Lakers wanted to change culture. They wanted to get more <clears throat> defensive minded. They wanted guys who make winning plays. Uh, we knew he would be a piece of the puzzle uh, and be a great role guy for this team, but he has responded. Uh, in the starting lineup every time he's given the opportunity. And here's the second back-to-back double-double, 14 and 11. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, this kid can play. And he understands the game. And he makes adjustments from game to game, from player to player. But one thing he always does is, is he gives you that smart maximum effort. And he gives you extra possessions. A big shot maker today. Uh, I, I just think this kid is is what the Lakers need going forward as far as an all-purpose player, mm -hmm. especially on the defensive end, staying in front of players, uh, did not back down. He had uh, George uh, Iso, yeah. was Iso on him, and he really held his own, stayed in front, was physical, made him miss some tough shots. So. Overall, I think Randall did the same thing with, with, with yeah. Carmelo. Post those guys up and make them play. But I just think overall, Brooke, this was a good collective effort by this team. And, and you know, didn't even have Kuzma yeah. in the action. Only two points. And they still were able to uh, play good D and, and, and get the job done. I'm, I'm very happy. The statisticians happy. at Elias Sports Bureau better get busy. And they're, they're good at what they do. This rookie shooting guard has four double doubles, mm -hmm. and they're all points and yeah. rebounds. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. He has a great nose for the ball on the glass key, goes hard, and knows these guards are not going to box him out. He, mm -hmm. he goes right around him, right through him, whatever he has to do to get that board. It's not a coincidence that this defense is so much improved this year because of some of the personnel, and Josh Hart is a big part of that. James hit the key word. Physical. He plays with a physicality, whether he's matched up against LeBron, as we saw in Cleveland, Russell Westbrook, Paul George, he's not afraid uh, to defend these guys, and I think he relishes the opportunity and the challenge. Julius Randle, another guy who has really <laughs> set the tone. After that last OKC game, Luke said it, Julius said it, that can't happen again. Since that time, Julius has, has beaten down everyone he's played. And by the way, took it to Carmelo. 
today. I mean, that yeah. matchup, yeah. you yeah. saw it. The second you saw that matchup, you were calling for it every time. 19-6-4 and four for Julius. Take him, drop step, spin on him. And then you had Carmelo crying to the referee. He's hitting me in the chest. He's backing me down. You're damn right he is. Because that's what he does. And he's got a <laughs> reputation for it. The referees knows it. He's physical. And he, look at that. He knows, watch this, boom, in the face. He's tough. And I got to tell you, man, in the league, there's certain players that you just don't want to see because you know you don't want to work that hard. And Julius Randle's one of those guys. I thought he did an excellent job tonight. Even hit the hit three. That three. Even and hit we the liked three. that three. It was in rhythm. <laughs> but he's, he went taking to the right him. Spot. he's taking them when he's supposed to, though. And he's not forcing the issue. So I, I just love the game that, he, that he's bringing of yeah. late, whether he's coming off the bench or starting, it doesn't matter. I have a little admission to make. I'm going to do it pretty publicly here. Before the season, when Julius lost his starting job, about halfway through the preseason, I said to, to some people, this might be the best we've seen of Julius Randle in a Laker uniform. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. This guy has been on a roll since Luke put him back in that starting lineup three weeks ago, four weeks ago, whenever it was. He's been dominant. I mean, he has some, some weird games. Yeah. He, he takes a few chances, and you're kind of like, where is he going with this? Mm -hmm. But how about ending that game, just standing there at half court, kind of fighting the guys off, trying to, trying to maybe foul Twice. him, trying to maybe rip the ball. Yeah, it happened a couple times. Mm -hmm. and, and he stayed strong. Good for Julius. Our Hall of Famers had a lot of great segments. For those of you that are just joining the show, this, this, this was your best A block <laughs> of all time, and that will go out on Twitter, James. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I mean, right. I mean it, man. These, these guys made me happy. I'm very proud of the way they've been playing of late. 110 of 14. Yeah. Okay, Josh, so after the Orlando game, Luke put you into the starting lineup and uh, just wondered what you focused on the most and, and how you saw that play out to be able to, to impact the team like you did. Um, just focus on energy and toughness. You know, that was the biggest thing. Um, you know, that, that's one thing I do very well, uh, and that's something that, you know, it can be contagious. So, you know, just getting started, man. Sorry about that. Um, you know, I just wanted to you know, get a team a spark from the, from the jump. You learn anything about yourself as a player, as you know, coming into the league, playing 30 plus minutes and consecutive road wins. Did that, did that tell you anything about yourself? Um, not really. Um, <laughs> not to be cocky or anything like that. But you know, just just coming from a, from Villanova, coming from that program, um, that's one thing that uh, I'm a praise coach right about. You know, he 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 taught me how to, you know, handle certain things. He told me how to never break um, and that kind of thing. So, you know, not surprise anything. Um, just kind of. Um, knowing what I can do, I think that's the biggest thing. How important was it after these guys pushed you guys around so much in the first two games? How important was it to make sure you guys push back and fought? And they're really important, um, especially the end of a, a long road trip. Um, you know, we came in 2-1-2 on this road trip. And, you know, we just wanted to fight. You know, we, you know the last couple of games, they took it to us a little bit. Um, and we just wanted to have that toughness. And we... we Played a, you know, we played a heck of a game. We played a tough game. You know, we got to give Brooke, you know, a lot of credit. Drew, a lot of credit. Just out there banging, you know, with Adams because that's that's not an easy tax. So um, it was great. You envision, I don't know if it's not when you get drafted or once you get into camp. But do you envision yourself as a starter in long term in the NBA? Do you think about that, or do you try to just take it as it comes? Um, I just try to take it as it comes. You know, I think you know I have the potential to, um, but. You know, I'm just trying to fill any any void, any role that that that, that the team needs. And that, if that's me starting, cool. If it's me coming off the bench, cool. Um, you know, I just try to take each day. Uh, you know, in it, in itself, I take try to take the next game. Um, but you know, I think I think I can be. But you know, whatever coach says. It's been a, a tough matchup of late. But what was good about today? How'd you end up finishing it out? Well, I was, you know, I was most proud of the way that we, we engaged ourselves in the fight this time. Um, you know, again, we got off to a good start where we were competing back and forth. And uh, this time, uh, you know, we sustained it for, for much longer. There was times that we, uh, if we gave in a little bit, uh, we called timeouts, challenged them uh, in those timeouts uh, not to give into it. Don't give in to the fact that it's the end of a long trip. We're playing against a really good team. Enjoy it. Uh, enjoy the challenge. And our guys, I thought, did a really good job of sticking together and, and, uh, and really fighting that one out. You know, you weren't pleased after the Orlando game. You make the switch to put Hart into the starting lineup and then win these last two. How important was he, and, and what did that do to the way the team played? He was, he was great these last He's You know, double-doubles, leading our team in rebounding, just so many defensive plays for us. And, you know, 
taking good shots, uh, you know, knocking down threes when it's a swing, swing or a drive and kick type of possession. And, and he, you know, had a big one late in the Brooklyn game and then hit a couple uh, tonight. Um, so his his all around game, uh, again, for, for being a rookie uh, you know, on a stage like this is we're, we're really impressive. What were you able to get out of Brooke Lopez these last two games? Um, Brooke's been, you know, the bigger teams, he's had uh, more of an opportunity and he's done a, a really nice job of, of uh, playing on both both ends of the floor. He had a, you know, a block, a big block for us tonight, uh, a couple in the Brooklyn game. And when he, when he gets, you know, when he, when he knocks down his threes, it really spaces that floor for us. Um, but what I think he's done a really nice job of the last two games is doing both getting down to that block and, and really putting some pressure on their defense, give us some sort of inside uh, you know, threat to where we can work from the inside out. And uh, he, he, he's done a nice job of picking and choosing when he's going to do each of those in these last two matchups. Guessing your heart rate was climbing in that final minute or so. What are you trying to get across to the players during that stretch? Well, one, the game's never over. You know, I looked out there, we're up 10, and our guys are smiling. and. and it, it's not over, and that's a perfect example. They had a couple shots that you know could have tied it, I think. Um, and, and you, we gotta, we gotta keep our composure and, and be strong with the ball. You know, a lot of teams are not just gonna come in and foul. So, you know, get the ball, use your footwork, be strong with it, be ready to make a, uh, you know, a solid pass to, to your teammate. And then again, it comes back to knocking down free throws. And you know, I'm, our guys gave an unbelievable effort tonight for. Um, you know, being at the end of this road trip like this, it, but it doesn't get like that if, if we knock down free throws. And, and those are big players for us that are getting to the line, and they know it. Um, they, they're, they're part of their responsibilities of being leaders and, and being playing minutes like that is at the end of the game knocking down free throws. Um, and and yeah, another good experience at it, but it, you know, we got to start hitting those. You guys got the last time you were here got pushed around a little bit, and obviously that didn't happen this time. I'm just wondering, did you bring that up? in the last day or so, that that's what happened last time, it can't happen again? That's what happened those both times we played them so far, yeah. Um, and we got pushed around again today, which is fine, as long as we push back. And that was the difference, is we pushed back tonight. So it's a it's a physical game, and it should be like that. That's that's when the game, you know, that's when it's fun, when guys are going at each other. Um, but the first two times, it was just them pushing us. And at least, uh, you know, tonight our guys, um, you know, we, we we stood strong and, and, and fought back. Was, it, was that something that you brought up, or do you just? Explain? Oh yeah. yeah, absolutely. Was that key to kind of containing Adams and keeping him from kind of pulling you guys on the glass like he did? Well, that's part of the key. I mean, he's so he's so big and, and strong and, and effective down there that part of it is keeping him off the glass, which we told our guys that's not just Brooks' responsibility. That's all. Five. If you're in there and you're anywhere near the paint, go find him. Um, but it's also the, uh, you know, the shell defense because he gets a lot of dunks with that little Westbrook, him and Westbrook in that two-man game. And I thought our guys did a really nice job of, of containing and not letting him get too many of those looks. Uh, what did Larry say to you after, after your tech? He, came over and gave he you said, location. thank you for saving me $2,500. <laughs> I said, no problem. That's my job. Are you guys going to split it or anything? No, no, no. 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 Our players need to play. I don't, I don't like when our players talk to, yell at, or talk to the refs. Um, you know, let, let me do that, and if you know, if I feel like I need to stand up for them, I'll, I'll take the technical. Let them focus on.